Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, I know I'm really late with this video, and the Corner Horses came out a while ago. Well, not too long ago, but a couple days ago. But anyway, we're going to be buying the horses in this video, and I'm going to get this video out today. So, yeah, anyway, uh, let's get into it. So, first of all, we need to get to the horses, and three of the coat three of the coats out of four are here at Starshine Ranch. I'm not sure where the other one is because I skipped the news. Haha, <laughs> news. Um, so, honestly, I'm not sure what to think of these colors. I like the bay and the chestnut, not chestnut, strawberry zone. But this black, I don't know. So, I just finished reading, like, the little description they have on these horses. And I just edited that out edited that out because it's useless but anyway so this black horse i don't really like it i like i like if it was just a plain black i would have liked it more but i don't like the white face it's not my f cup of tea and so this bay honestly it looks so beautiful the shading is gorgeous this horse is one of my favorites favorite horses in the game but i'm not gonna get this one only because I'm saving up for a bay thoroughbred, and I don't like the thoroughbred models, honestly, models, but I love thoroughbreds in real life, so I really want it, and I don't see them updating the thoroughbreds anytime close, so anyway, but this is not a thoroughbred video, so back to the quarter horses, this strawberry roan one, I love it so much, it's so cute, and it's like, it's face, the blaze, it's coloring is so beautiful, it's like silver almost like you, you see like it's kind of silver um but it's so cute because it's not mirrored um i'm in the horse and that's slightly disturbing i just walked through the horse okay um but anyway it's not mirrored like the, s the fleckles speckles they're not mirrored and the mane has a gradient going on from dark light to dark chestnut and the tail also has like a white to chestnut gradient or gray to chestnut gradient. Anyway, this is this horse is one of my favorites, but I can't get it because I have to look at the other one first. I don't even know where it is, so I'm gonna have to ask someone. Um, yeah, let's see. Okay, so I'm just gonna ask Global at this point because I don't want to read the news. Um, and I have no clue where the Palomino is at all, so let's ask global and hopefully people know i mean i'm sure people know i haven't seen anyone with the palomino honestly like i've seen people with the black face oh wait as i'm speaking two people come up with a palomino okay um but i've seen a lot of the black one i guess people love the black for some reason and honestly i don't Anyway, the thing is, the, the thing, the Palomino one is at Fort Pinta, so we're going there. Honestly, the black horse, I don't like it, because I do, I'm fine with bald face horses in real life, but, I don't know, Star Stables are the kind of, it looks to me like a ghost almost. Um, yeah. Okay, so here's the Palomino. Oh my god, this horse is so beautiful. It, it reminds me of a horse I rode once named Breezy. Breezy was a lighter color, but this horse is just so cute, and it reminds me of her. Because Breezy also, like, oof. Breezy always let her head down low when she was happy and relaxed, and this horse looks exactly like her, except for the coloring. Okay, guys, I apologize for this nonsense and this mess. So, I lost the footage of me buying and naming the horse yes i got the palomino spoilers haha <laughs> but i got the footage of the er, the me naming the horse earlier so i had to dig up very annoying footage that so basically you see why there, like there's 50 billion people here basically and i took the time to ignore all of them and then i lost that footage so i had to go back to this one and it really bothers me but honestly, it, it's just life. I have to live with life. Also, my horse is like, getting stuck on a fence, and now it's backing into a tree, and I don't know what to say. Okay, this horse, I'm getting this horse because it's beautiful. It reminds me of Breezy, and I really loved Breezy, and I love this horse. 
So here, it took me forever to find a name for this horse. Like literally, I don't even understand. So I'm gonna fast forward this and you'll see the name I came up with in the end. Okay, so I chose the name Honey Tea for her because I love honey in my tea and honestly, this horse is too le dark for like lemon tea um, and I just like the name Honey Tea. She reminds me of honey. Like honestly, this horse is so, like the shading is really dark and if you go to Google, I'm gonna go to Google and it reminds me of honey, like, okay. Oh wow, honey, the web, the coupon saver thing okay so if you get a ginger ginger is like a darker color but then honey is like like look at it it's just it's she's that color so yeah and ginger is just too light ginger is just like bright neonish yellow ginger crystallized ginger could work so like crystal ginger that'd be a nice name but honestly i like honey tea and we're going with honey tea so yeah so I'm gonna get this horse now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get this horse now. Casually looks for another name. Anyway, so about the black horse, I know a lot of people are gonna be really angry with me for criticizing the black horse. Almost, I there's there's nothing wrong with liking that black horse. It's just that I don't like bald face horses in the game, the Arabian. Also, like okay, I don't like the Arabian moles anyway is it right to call them molds like they're not made out of clay i'm i'm thinking of briars right now and calling them molds but anyway i don't like the arabian model and even if they had a nice model for the arabian i don't like bald face horses in the game because star stable just makes them too white they're not a good off-white color they're like a bright neon white like the color of the name changer thing name picker thing you know what i mean they're like that color anyway i got the horse i got honey tea welcome home honey tea um i had a quarantine stall ready for her because i googled how long should you quarantine your horse and they, they said um three weeks at least or was it whatever i don't even know anyway so i got the horse and that was actually really lucky that i jumped over the wall and now i'm just jumping randomly okay now call it for pickup Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to stop talking now for a while till we get home. Awkward silence. Awkward silence. Silence is golden, they say. But I should have named a horse Golden Silence. I don't think that's even a name option. Let's go see our new horsey. It's going to take me forever to make an outfit with that horse. Because this is not going to really look that great on her. Or maybe it will, I don't even know. Honestly, right now I can't imagine anything. So, here's our horse. Okay, I opened character sheet. Oh wait, that's for a reason. See, I'm really crazy. I can't think straight. And... Uh, if you can't tell, I'm doing a voiceover of this. It, like, I can't record my voice and like, scream at the same time. Because I can't download Soundflower. Or is it Soundflower? I don't even know. But I'm doing a voiceover, and um, I'm, I can't think because I'm so, like, really anxious right now because um, I was about to take a Spanish exam, but it didn't work because, um, I don't know, the Wi-Fi or something was really bad, and, like, the Zoom call kept disconnecting, so I couldn't take the Spanish exam, and I'll have to take it later in the day, so I'm really nervous. Ooh, look at the horse. It's spinning. I really like that spin. I like the gait. The trot is a bit weird. Like, if you trot, you're, you're crooked. And anyway, whatever. So I'm going to make an outfit now and then come back to you. Uh, okay. Okay, so when I was recording this, my inventory was a mess, as you can see. It, like, it's worse than my room sometimes. And anyway, I did clean out the inventory and sell a bunch of stuff. And I became rich for five minutes. And... Um, yeah, my inventory is clean now, it's fine, but anyway, here's the outfit, and it's just, 
I don't know. I don't like it much, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, so, we're gonna try this horse out, like, with the races. Um, yeah. We're gonna try out the horse with the races. La dee da, waiting, waiting. Awkward silence, not really silence. I'm just rambling now because I don't know what to say while waiting for everything to load and stuff. Um, so I'm in a horse. It's awkward. Anyway, yeah, so, um, I like the walk. The walk is like a ambling walk. I don't even know, but the trot is, uh, your, your leg is like inside the horse. It's, it's so annoying. Um, we're gonna do the races because I feel like that would be easy, but we're gonna do them after. And right now we're just gonna go in here and look at the gates. Um, yeah, what am I doing? What, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Okay, that sounded really horrible. Ignore that happened. Um, the walk is nice. It's nice. It's realistic. The trot from the side looks fine. It's nice. The horse curves its legs nicely, honestly. Um, the canter is so smooth. I love it, the canter, so much. I feel like I love all the gates of this horse. If Especially if you're a wild horse, it looks really good. The gallops are nice. Um, I really like... Oof, I just passed a horse. I really like the stop, the sliding stop. It's... The horse's mo legs move with the ground, and they're just they're nice okay they're nice i don't know the black horse is just so weird honestly i feel like even this the nice gates couldn't help that horse um i'm sorry if i'm offending your favorite horse color but the spin the spin is really cool and the backup is so fast um so it's been a couple of days since i've got the actual horse and i've used like it's level 1 now. It's level... It was almost level 12 in... Well, I'm... I can't talk properly. It's almost level 12 now, basically, when I'm doing the voiceover. So, um, yeah. Anyway, back to the video. It's a nice bunch of gates, honestly. And the slide moves with the ground. It kind of looks like it's sliding on the floor, but whatever. I'm just going around ignoring people at this point. Wait, yes, I am ignoring people. I didn't ignore her. I need to stop. I have a tendency to ignore everyone just because it's so annoying. Anyway, the jump is so cool. Like, it looks like a hunter horse, and that was weird, awkward, and weird. But it looks like a hunter horse, kind of, and the rear is so cool. I feel like the rear makes it look a lot like Trigger, that famous horse. Um, like Roy Rogers and Trigger. I feel like they've done that rear sometime, somewhere. I don't know. Um, also this horse, it makes me feel, it makes me think of Esperanza. The, Esperanza from Sta Spirit Stallions, the Cimarron. Honestly, this horse reminds me of Spirit's mom. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, I'm gonna do the races, but I'm not gonna show you because I'm already- this video is already gonna be super long. Well, maybe I will show you. Actually, I will show you. It won't take that long to do races. I'm pretty quick. So, honestly, this horse, I feel like SSO is gonna give an advantage because they've designed it as a western horse. But I feel like their- their turns are probably a lot smoother. Like, even with the fast speed, I feel like their turns are gonna be smoother. Um but it's fine. so i'm going to be doing the pole bending race and then i cut out the lap race because that is really long actually it's not long but it's long you know what i mean it's long it's just annoying and i stopped in the middle to take a picture of that sheep on the hay bale because like how the hell how the heck did that sheep get on the hay bale look now i'm missing because i'm, I'm just missing because I'm horrible at pole bending, but how did that sheep get up to a hay bale that's like stacked on another hay bale? It's not a bale, it's a roll. And I feel like I'm getting really emotional about this. I don't even understand myself at this point. Uh, how did that sheep get on the hay bale? Like, sheep can't climb, can they? I don't think so. Anyway. 
for those of you wondering, this is the sheep I was talking about, and now here I am taking a picture of it. Okay, so now we're gonna go check out the hairstyles now that I'm done with all that lap raising nonsense. And if you hear a grinding slash growling noise in the background, I feel like someone's cutting down their trees. Or maybe they're gr grinding a hole in the ground. Or you know what? That's our blender. I'm so stupid. That's the blender. Okay. Ignore the stuff I said about grinding holes in the ground. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go check out the hairstyles on this horse. And I've seen like Violet Flower Garden's video on this and Sylvie Mystream's video on this and like those people's like people's videos on hairstyles on this horse. And like some people have said it's the 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 bleh, the hair is like paper thin. Um. I don't know, I think it has dimension to it, and I like the hair like this, so, anyway, um, honestly, okay, what did I just do, what was that for, I'm being really stupid right now, okay, why, why am I being stupid, oh, you know what, this is when I had the problem, and I couldn't get the hair down, the, not hair, that sh screen down, and, like, okay, you know what, I don't know what to say to myself, I'm such an idiot, I feel like I re-logged after this, did I? Okay, here, I'm scrolling through the, the thing. Wow, okay, we're just gonna stop and find some other stuff to talk about. Okay, ignore what I said. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. And actually, when I was talking about the blender, I actually think that might be someone grinding something outside. Anyway, so this is like the hair that I associate with warm bloods. I like it, kind of. Like, I don't like it on this horse. I like it on my Lusitano. Uh, my black Lusitano. Um, the tail, it looks so weird. I'm, I'm keeping this horse's hair, but anyway. This hair, the braids are interesting. Interesting. I don't know. I don't like braids on many horses, unless I'm doing a show with my club or something. Then I put the braids on. Um... This hair is so short, I feel like it ruins the beauty of the horse. It's kind of sad. Okay, what am I doing? Yeah, there we go. Uh, it, it ruins the beauty of the horse, because then this hair doesn't move, and it's just... Anyway, these braids, I really like the show braids, but if the horse bends, see, they stretch out, and I hate that. To be honest, I don't mind, because it doesn't really bother me. Um... Because I don't really let my horses bend their heads down. I'm moving all the time. I'm really movementy. Anyway, the tail stays the same, I think. Or it gets a little bit darker. I don't know. Something like that. But the hair is nice. Um, I, I, I'm keeping it loose like this. Because I'd understand if the horse didn't want its hair to be in braids. I hate my hair when it's in braids. Um, I hate tying my hair in braids. Not hating my hair. You know what? Never mind. Dropping the subject. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna end the video now, I don't even know what I'm doing, okay, I'm not ending the video, what am I saying, um, okay, well, bye, or not bye, I don't know what I'm doing, you know what I'm doing, okay, help me, please help me, the horse is saying help me, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a like and subscribe, and turn on notifications if you want to know when my next videos come out. I'm struggling to speak right now. Anyway, if you like this video, then do that stuff. And I'm going to review the halters. Not review the halters. Or whatever. Are they even coming out tomorrow? It's Tuesday, so tomorrow. I don't know. Anyway, hope you like this video. And I'm going to be doing a video on the halters and the attacks that come out whenever they do. So, yeah. Okay, bye.